what a day and night here in LA. The semifinal round of the Pac-12 Women's Lacrosse Tournament is in the books. And boy, a couple of compelling, compelling games. Great to have you with us here, Troy Clarity and Carolyn taking you through it. In the first game, it was Arizona State versus the top seed Stanford. The Cardinal, 20 to 15 winners in the highest scoring game in Pac-12 tournament history. Jordan Case with six goals for Stanford. Afterwards, we caught up with the redshirt sophomore from Charlotte, North Carolina. Well, Jordan, last time around against the Sun Devils, you scored five with an assist. This time around, you dropped six on A-State with an assist. What went right out there for you today? Um, really just my teammates having my back and trusting me. Um, that's how I get the job done. When you look at how well balanced this attack is this year, Jordan, um, what do you think, in which areas do you guys perform your best and how well do you think you're sharing the ball right now? Yeah, I mean, we have anyone on our offense can score, so that's a huge plus when everybody's a threat. I think when we're sharing the ball, that's when we have the most success. You know, we have one B great 1v1 Dodgers, we have great feeders, great finishers, really just a well-rounded offense. I understand that you guys lost Annabelle Frist this year, which was such a big loss for this team, but how do you think your performance today as a team um, is almost paying tribute to a player like Annabelle? Yeah, I mean, it's really tough losing Annabelle. She's an awesome player. Our freshman, um, Ava Arcer is really stepping up on the draw. Dakota's really stepping up on the draw. Um, and we just have Annabelle's back by doing that. And I'm sure that you appreciate the defensive efforts that Stanford has been able to put forth all season long. They were terrific once again here this afternoon. Yeah, our defense is awesome. They always got our backs. You know, our identity is pushing the fast break. And if we don't get it, we know that the defense is going to get us back, get it back for us. Well, Jordan, we will see you and the rest of the Stanford Cardinal on Saturday. You'll get to play for a Pac-12 championship. How does that sound? We're so excited. <laughs> we'll see you then. Jordan, thanks a bunch. Thank you. Jordan Case wearing Ale Bayako's old number, 13, and she certainly looked like her in the stat sheet anyway. Case with six, Aliyah Poliski with five, but make no mistake, total team effort from front to back for the Cardinals. Absolutely, and you saw seven different goal scores, and also Brown had three assists on the day, just a big part of how that offense is able to run. Uh, and this is a defense also that caused 14 turn or caused turnovers in that game, winning the ground ball battle as well. But Stanford just dominated from start to finish, and this is a team that has a lot going forward. So Stanford is back in the Pac-12 championship game. So are the Colorado Buffaloes as they knocked off the host USC Trojans. 12-9 the final score as Colorado went up early and was able to hold off USC down the stretch. Thanks once again to one lady who's having a fantastic week, Madeline Pisani. We caught up with Madeline after the game. Well, Madeline, round one against USC two weeks ago didn't go your guys' favor. A 15-6 final that day. You turn it around here tonight. Jumped on him early, held him off late. How were you able to, not to knock off USC tonight? Um, I mean, like I said last night, it started with trusting in our preparation. We've been working and practicing since, you know, August, and it all comes down. That hard work and preparation comes to these big games that really matter. Um, you know, we, were, we had a game plan, thanks to all of our coaches, and we all fully bought into the game plan, and it worked, and it's amazing. Go into a little bit more detail. What exactly did you see in USC's defense, and how were you able to be on the scoring end on the offense? Um, so, I know when you kind of drag two people, which is like Eve does a really good job of that, and then you can kind of like dish it off to the open person, and that's when you look for like shooting space or you can just go, and I think we did a great job doing that tonight, or dragging two people on the wing and dishing it to the open cuts in the middle. Um, everyone executed and bought into their role, and it's just a great outcome. I know we talked about the draw last night in Aiden Carr, but I want you to speak about your defensive performance tonight as a team. What did you see from them? They were outstanding. They stayed on the middle, which was what we practiced in scout. They got on people's hands behind to make those feeds difficult. Every single person on the defensive end did exactly what they were supposed to, bought into the scout, and they played absolutely phenomenal as a unit. And when those shots were off, they were contested shots, and Danielle just stayed so strong in net. It was amazing. Madeline, as we wrap this up here, four goals for you tonight. 
One from Malibu, it seemed, one from Santa Monica, and another one from LAX. <laughs> How are you able to connect from such long distances here tonight? Um, just practice. I mean, I'm pretty <laughs> confident with the shot just because of the practice, and, you know, it, it's nice when it works. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Well, hey, you got revenge against USC here tonight. Now you get another crack at Stanford on Saturday for all the Pac-12 marbles. Yeah. That should be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, I'm super excited. The whole team's very excited for that. It's, it's great to be in the championship. So, Madeline, thanks a bunch. Congratulations. We'll see you on Saturday. Sounds good. Thank you, guys. Madeline Pisani this week has scored 10 goals to go along with three assists. She has been lights out, but maybe the big story here for this game for Colorado was their defense. They held USC scoreless. Pac-12 attacker of the year, Ella Haney for USC. Four assists, but no goals. Yeah, and she really didn't come alive into the later part of the game. I think this was great team defense from Colorado. You saw them start to gain confidence more and more, become more aggressive in the third and fourth quarter. But the most important thing for Colorado was controlling the entire 60 minutes, and you saw that in their team effort. Controlling the entire 60 minutes and controlling the draw circle as well. That's where much of their best work seemed to begin. So here we go. The stage is set. Stanford versus versus Colorado in the Pac-12 championship game on Saturday at noon. Stanford aiming for its third Pac-12 tournament title. Colorado has been in this game now five of the six times it's been held. They are looking for their first. And this is a team that can come away with a lot if they can bring that crown back to Boulder. And the draw control is going to be all the more important and the center stage for both of these schools to have one day of prep when you're the last two teams in the conference before you face off on Saturday. Everybody take Friday off and get ready for what should be a fantastic Saturday celebration for the Buffs fans as it's Buffs Cardinal in the Pac-12 Championship on Saturday.